legend has it that in ancient times, human beings, plants and animals could speak to one another. And one day, human beings, plants and animals were separated from one another by calamities. Only two people, one boy and one girl survived. The mountain god put the two people into a drum and dropped the drum onto the water flow. Then, the two survivors got married to each other and the girl gave birth to two sons. Their life faced many difficulties so the mother took the elder son to the sea and the younger son stayed with the father in the mountain. And the elder son and the mother were the ancestors of the Kham people. And the younger son and the father were the ancestors of the Raglay people. Nowadays, the most important ceremonies of the Kham people all show the brotherhood between the Raglay and the Kham ethnic groups. based on tangible and intangible cultural heritages found in Ninth Wun. Cultural researchers could prove that the Kham and the Raglay ethnic groups have a close relationship. For example, in terms of language, the languages of the two ethnic groups belong to the same family. In addition, there are two big families in the Raglay ethnic group, namely Penang and Kamali. These two families originate from the families of the ancient Kham people. The Kham and the Raglay people in Ninth Wun still maintain their matriarchy, which is shown clearly in the children take the surname of their mother. In a family, the wife is the one who decides all important affairs. And when parents die, the youngest daughter will become the inheritor. In comparison with other ethnic groups in Vietnam, the Com ethnic group in Ninh Nguyen is one of the ethnic groups, which have big festivals the most. And their biggest festival is the Cake Festival. The festival is an occasion for them to commemorate the goddess Pionegar, who founded the Kham nation, and taught the old Kham people how to wet rice and constant trees. Nowadays, the festival is reserved for not only the Kham people, but also the Raglay people. At the end of the year, the Kham people in Ninth Wun hold the festival, with traditional rituals which are imbued with their cultural identity. And the highlight of the festival, is a procession if the costume of the goddess Pionegar. This ritual is an important one which begins the Cape Festival in Ninth Wun. In ancient times, Members of the Kham royal court asked the Raglay people to keep and protect valuable objects for them. Thus, before the Cape festival, the Kham people often conduct a ritual to ask for getting back those valuable objects from the Raglay people. This custom has existed for many generations and is still preserved well. Before the Cape Festival, 
a delegation of Kham people led by a monk comes to Kamali Len house to ask for the costume of the goddess Pionega. Then the delegation and Kamali Len family will head for ancient Kham towers to do the opening ritual of the festival. When the delegation of Kham and Raglay people reaches the temple, in which the goddess Pionaga is worshipped, they hold a traditional ceremony together. In the ceremony, the Raglay people offer agricultural products to the goddess, to show their gratitude to her. And then they talk to one another about their roots. Kham dances in combination with the sound of traditional musical instruments of the two ethnic groups, such as mala, sarakan trumpets, paranang drums and so on. The close relationship between the Kham and the Raglay ethnic groups in ancient times. Each community has its own traditional culture. However, all communities in the world always turn towards one common principle, the true, the good and the beautiful. Mentioning the Kham or the Raglay ethnic group in Ninth Wun means mentioning traditional festivals. And in their traditional festivals, the Kham or Raglay people wish for peace, good weather conditions, and bumper crop. and common festivals of the two ethnic groups are mainly religious ones, which are related to their ancestors. And the Ponaitang festival of the Raglay people in Ninsan mountainous district is a typical example. Legend has it that Ponaitang, the beauty daughter of a noble Kham family, fell in love with a Raglay boy and they lived together in a high mountain. They couple turned a deserted land into a fertile one and took many other people to the mountain to live. The mountain is now the Ponaitang mountain in Manoi commune, Nine Sun district, Nainchen province. The legend reflects human efforts in conquering nature to lead a better life. And at the same time shows the close relationship between the two ethnic groups. In ancient times, the Ponaitang festival of the Raglay people in Ninth Wood was restored by the state. With many sacred rituals. The festival reminds generations of Raglay people of the intimate relationship between the Kham and the Raglay ethnic groups. Especially, the festival must be attended by the Kham people. Then, the Raglay and the Kham people will play their musical instruments together, 
to show their respect for the goddess Ponai Tang. Whereas Ginang and Paranang drums show technical perfection. Earth drums and gongs made of new are kind of bamboo. Represent hidden values of nature that the Raglay people always base on to develop. In the festival, the roles of the two Raglay and Kum masters are the same. When the Raglay master is in charge of worshipping ceremonies, the Kum one is responsible for dances and vice versa, which makes the festival become more attractive. In the Kate festival, the Kum people hold the Raidaga and Raidaksoa ceremonies. And in the Ponai Tang festival, the Raglay people hold the Tongan ceremony. These ceremonies are all aimed at bringing good things to the Kum and the Raglay people in the new year. In addition, they are all Uxli trays in the two festivals. In the Kum and Raglay languages, Xuli means to replace. Thus, when the Raglay and the Kum people prepare Xli trays with pairs of paper people, animals, beetle leaves and arica nuts, ripe bananas, etc. on them. It means they want gods to protect them from bad things. In fact, at present, the Kum and Raglay people can talk with one another without interpreters. Therefore, in the Ponai Tang festival, attendants can understand what the two masters plead. Through the Ponai Tang festival or the Kate festival, the beauty of the cultures of the Kham and the Ragley ethnic groups is clearly shown. The Kum and the Raglay people live in perfect harmony with one another in their life. Although the Kum people mainly live in the plains, they still base themselves on mountains to create quality agricultural products. And although the Raglay people live in mountains, they learn how to plant wet rice, feed animals and so on, to improve their living conditions. The Kham and the Raglay ethnic groups in Ninth Win always remember their roots, and show their close relationship through their traditional festivals. Thanks. 
cùng muối trắng đàn hải âu tung cánh giữa trời xanh ninh thuận quê mình bạch ngàn nho chín tím trời chiều tiếng hát anh ngọt ngào cô nghe trăm e ấp sơ vành khăn hãy về ninh thuận về thăm bác ái kiên trung nhớ những ngày kháng chiến rừng chiều che núi giữa bao đoàn quân.